Another week, another, wait a minute, that's for Sunday's video. Today is Friday, but today is also Void Trader Day. For those of you guys that don't know what the Void Trader is, we'll get to that in a moment. There are time codes in the description below. Feel free to skip to your section you want, but I do want to mention there is currently a giveaway going on. It actually is ending sometime tomorrow as of watching this video, so definitely last chance to enter that. There'll be a link in the description below. Feel free to enter. But yeah, the Void Trader. The Void Trader has different stuff, different primed mods sometimes, different prisma weapons and sentinels other times and just a bunch of different stuff. Now let's see what the Void Trader has to offer. Void, First of all, the Sentinel Wings. The Sentinel Wings, huh? They look okay, I guess. I, I guess I'll buy them. I don't see any reason. Why not? Perhaps you'll come to one of my next parts. And then we have this um, mod followed by Primed Ammo Stock, Prisma Yamiko Sayandana, Prisma Mech Head Sentinel Mask, Prisma Scana, Mark of the Beast, Zyphos Prisma Skin. Keep in mind that it's only a skin. It, not, it doesn't come with the Zyphos, so you still need the Zyphos. Then we have Kater Arrow Skin, Prisma Machete, five corrupted heavy gunner specters. Keep in mind these specters, they are not unlimited, okay? Each one that you buy comes with five. And then Glaring Sigil, Kater Stencil, and Bronze Kavat Bust. Lexium Ornament, Primed Rubido Lined Barrel, it's for an art gun. And then we have this Long Sword Skin. We have this, this is, this is basically a Queen reference in case you're curious. Okay, so yeah, Gara Immortal Skin, Katir, Chest, Play, Katir leg plates, Katir shoulder plates, mask crew thingy, um, a helmet for a crew, um, no, crew hood, yeah, okay, for your operator, and presumably drifter, but uh, don't call me on that. And then the, the, the sleeves, the legs, Day of the Dead, Kabat Armor, Day of the Dead, Skin, Thought Skin, Day of the Dead, Dread Skin, In My Belly, Glyph. Now that, if I had to guess, would be an Austin Powers reference, but I'm not 100% sure if that is or not. It seems like it is that the scene in Austin Powers, it's, okay, anyway, <laughs> moving on, I'm showing my age here, Sands of Anaros Blueprint, this is how you get Anaros, and Fey Path Informer. Now, if you have Anaros Prime equipped while you visit him, there will be a borrow beacon that you can actually pick up if you so wish. And now it's time for everyone's favorite segment where I make everyone cringe by selling stuff. And I actually did a little bit of prime farming. So, you know, I actually have some stuff 
I can sell. It may not be the most in the world, but it should be able to get me my goal is to get to 4,000, okay. Which does not seem very likely at this rate because I haven't got anything worth a whole lot, it seems like. Okay, this goes here, this goes here. Okay, we are almost there. We are like halfway there right now, guys. Maybe all the farming we did, because we did some farming on stream. So that's, that's not bad at all. Farming wise, we are almost there guys. We've almost done it. We've almost done it guys. Shade, I don't even have the shade yet, so I'm a little nervous to sell anything shade related yeah a little nervous to sell that and then okay we officially with that have enough hopefully we don't didn't sell anything we needed we got all of that done and i think this is a good time to end it here let me know comment section below. Did you guys buy anything? Is there nothing here for you? Do you guys hope he had better stock after the update or at the very least next year? Let me know comment section below. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.